Americans love and, well, love to hate SUVs. Inside and out, this GMC Yukon looks to be another big, thirsty truck. But there's an eerie silence when pulling away. This is General Motors' two-mode hybrid. We're not saying SUVs are for everybody. What we're saying here now is a solution. If people have a need for an SUV, because an SUV, a full-size SUV, meets three needs no other vehicle can. You can carry eight people, you can tow large loads, and you can carry large loads. You know, a minivan can carry people, can't do the other two. A pickup can carry loads, can't haul a lot of people. So that's what the beauty of these vehicles uh, is, and that's what they're for. Normally, I get a week, at least a couple days, to evaluate a vehicle. This, this is just a sneak preview because I'm only getting a couple hours with the hybrid. Like other hybrids, a gas engine and electric motors work together here to save fuel. This is a six liter V8 that also runs on four cylinders. What's in that box that says hybrid? Basically, that's our TPIM, or Traction Power Inverter Module. That takes the power from the hybrid 300 volt battery and drives it into the engine or into the transmission to power the wheels. Anywhere you see an orange cable on this vehicle, that signifies a 300 volt cable. That's important because that's one of the things GM does on all of our hybrid vehicles. When they're 300 volt, you will see an orange cable in all cases. You don't want to mess with that. Don't want to mess with that. The big difference between GM's two-mode system and Toyota's Synergy Drive? We put two electric motors inside a transmission case. So the transmission case fits right underneath this truck, just like a regular transmission fits under another truck. Which means any truck on this platform can now be packaged as a hybrid. Cadillac Escalade and GM pickups are next. Okay, when you start the hybrid, the engine will start initially. It does a system check, and as soon as everything's all set to go and it checks the battery pack is fully charged, the engine will shut off, as it just did. We're currently now on all electric. As we drive away, you'll notice we are purely driving away on electric. We can go up to around 30, 32 miles an hour before the gas engine kicks back in and starts to assist again. This silent pull away is the first mode. Mode two happens at highway speeds. The electric motors provide enough assist to keep the V8 in its more efficient four cylinder operation twice as long. At these speeds, Toyota's Synergy Drive largely defaults to gas only operation. Label value for a non-hybrid Tahoe with a 5.3 liter V8 is 14 miles per gallon in the city. This truck is 21. That's a pretty substantial gain. And then the highway value would be 20 in the city and 21 for the hybrid. So about a 5% gain on the highway, uh, over 40% in the city, and that equates to over 30% overall improvement in fuel economy. The switch from electric to gas is seamless. A graphic shows what power source the driver is using or that the batteries are charging when coasting and braking. The overall experience is like driving a really big Prius. Two mode will eventually trickle down to Saturn view. Why didn't GM start with a small car? Take a vehicle that gets 30 miles of the gallon and you improve it to 40 miles per gallon, you'll save not even 100 gallons of fuel. But if you take an SUV, you can save 500 gallons of fuel a year. Both GMC Yukon and Chevy Tahoe get the two mode system plus aerodynamic and weight reducing tweaks. The price for towing up to 6,200 pounds with hybrid power starts at around 50 grand. That's a lot of green to go green. Environmentalists will note that these trucks use a lot of resources to build. But those who need the space, cargo, and towing capacities that only SUVs offer, GM has an elegant and efficient solution with the two mode. One more tech note, the electric motors do not assist during towing. These utes are available in rear and all-wheel drive. Two mode was developed with Chrysler and BMW. Both of those companies will have their products out soon. Of course, Bob, the big question is, does it come with those great big hybrid decals? <laughs> uh, the decals will be available through dealers for customers that do choose to put them on their vehicles. If you want more information on this truck, go to the website, www.nwcn.com autos. I'll have a more technical breakdown there. And of course, that famous link to my email. Thanks for downloading. I'm Tom Volk. That's Drive.